What be y'all? It's be the God here to bless y'all another video. And today uh, we got something a little, a little new and different that y'all might not have seen before. We're gonna be uh, talking about a certain movie. Um, now, if y'all know, uh, at the time of this recording, I have not seen the new Batman movie with Robert Pattinson. I heard it's pretty dope, but I'm gonna check it out eventually. Uh, I don't know when, but I will. In preparation of me seeing that movie, I thought, you know what? Fuck it. Let me see a Batman movie I've never seen in my life. I've heard a lot about Batman year one. And so I finally decided, fuck it. Let me just watch the movie. I was going to read the comic, but I haven't gotten around to it. So, but I will read it. I promise. I promise. If you're new to the channel, uh, make sure to give this video a try. See if you like it. And if, if you do, consider subscribing by the end of it. Uh, I ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's just get straight to the video. So we start the movie off with some narration from the homie Bruce. Gotham City. Clean shafts of concrete and snowy rooftops. I'm gonna say off rip, I do not like Batman's voice in this movie. Ben McKenzie is a dope actor from what I've seen in the uh, Gotham show, but in this fucking movie, I cannot stand his voice. I don't know why for Bruce, it just does not work for me. I do like the narration of Bruce right here because I like how he's talking about Gotham, not in a way of like, you know, just saying, oh my God, city, it's bad. He's saying it in a way like, almost like militaristic, if that's even a word. Uh, he, you know, the way he's saying certain words, like, you know, the enemy and combat, like all the stuff that he was saying, I thought it was, I thought it was cool. Like the way he described Gotham. From here, it looks like an achievement from here. You can't see the enemy. We then see Jim get off the train. He meets his new partner. I think his name is Flask, but I kept calling him Flash and I don't plan on stopping. So that's what his name is for the video. So he meets Flash, meets his, goes to the department, meets his new boss. And then, you know, they go out on patrol. While on patrol, they see a group of these teens just hanging out, I guess, kicking it, chilling, do whatever the fuck teens do in this city. Flash then hops out the car and singles out the only black dude in the group and start beating the brakes off this kid, man. All while this is going on, Jim is just sitting there taking mental notes to himself. Don't do a damn thing. Be sure of your facts before you bring down another cop. We then cut to Bruce outside his mansion, training and shit, and the movie will try to convince you that Bruce Wayne as a human being can do shit like this. After showing his hidden super strength, Bruce tells himself that he has to wait and that he's not ready for some unexplainable reason. Bruce, you just kicked down this thick ass tree like it was a goddamn Jenga tower. What else do you fucking need, bro? So Jim now is walking to his car in a parking garage at night, unarmed, and probably the most dangerous city in existence and gets confronted by some of these goons and flash for a second jim is actually doing his damn thing until he gets knocked over the head and they start beating on that ass flash and his goons end up beating up gordon i guess they did it because nobody likes a fucking goody two shoes we then cut to bruce being in this car and he's putting on makeup and shit and then he's going out into the streets and i actually kind of like this scene because it gives a sense of or it gives us pretty much a quick view on how scummy gotham can really fucking be bruce keeps walking along and this little girl comes up offers him some some cooch and he says nah i'm good and then this pimp comes up and i guess just starts talking shit to bruce after bruce takes care of this guy and two of his little goons a little 12 year old girl she comes up and stabs this nigga and uh he pushes her to the ground and i guess this version or this movie's version of Catwoman, I guess she didn't like it. So she jumps off from the, you know, from her little apartment building and lands on this car next to Bruce. Now, listen to me. What the fuck is up with this movie and its physics? These niggas are fucking human. How the hell are they able to do this type of human shit? But I continue anyways. So Selena and him throw hands for a little bit and then these cops show up and pop Bruce for seemingly no fucking reason. So then Bruce wakes up in the back of their squad car and knocks these two cops out that flips the car and then the car starts freaking burning. Oh shit. Bruce then uh, stops before he gets completely out the car and he thinks to himself, all right, I'm actually gonna grab these two idiots be even though they are bad. Scum maybe, but even scum have families. And I actually fuck with that because Batman is portrayed as this dark vigilante and everything and that's cool and he is, but he still likes Superman in the way that like they want to preserve life. 
So even shitty ass niggas, they're gonna fucking save. It's not just the Joker that Batman will save. He'll save other people, even the shittiest of people. Like, I, I actually like this scene. We then cut to Jim tracking and hunting down his partner Flash, and then he follows him, runs him off the road, and then pulls up on him and challenges him to a 1v1. Jim finally beats this nigga's ass and regains his honor and then leaves him there naked in the cold, looking like a little bitch. We then see Bruce in his living room, I guess, and he's just sitting there alone, saying to himself he's gotta wait. Once again, the movie does not tell us why. Out of nowhere, a bat flies through Bruce's window. So the bat perches itself on Thomas's Wayne's head statue. I think that's what it is. Um, and Bruce takes that as a sign from his father that, yes, I should go make a suit, dress up as a bat, and go out every night or however many fucking nights he goes out find and hunt down and beat the shit out of random ass criminals no i don't know how you got all that from a bat going through your window bruce but go off bro so while on his first patrol, Batman jumps off this building and then lands on this patio where he shows a group of teens how menacingly he can stand up. Naturally, kids get scared of a six foot man dressed as a bat and one of them trips and almost falls off the goddamn patio. So Batman grabs his uh, leg so he doesn't fall off and I guess these two do not give a fuck about their friend because they start kicking the shit out of Batman. Batman knocks these two dudes out real quick and pulls up the third one where the, I guess the guy just passed out um, and then just sits there and scolds himself. Amateur. Fucking amateur. And I personally don't really like this scene that much. Um, and I know I've been talking about what I like and don't like. Shut the fuck up. I have to say my shit. Bro, I understand that Batman is still new to this shit. But I don't think he would make... Like, as smart as Batman is, I don't think he would make some goofy, dumb, bullshit-ass mistake like this. Especially like, dude, you just land on this patio for no fucking reason. Why did you... Whatever. Fucking amateur. Batman then heads to this mansion where all these rich people are having a meeting, and honestly, I think this scene is hilarious for two fucking reasons. For one, we see Batman outside prepping his shit and everything for his entrance, so it's like, it reminds me of Kick-Ass when he did the exact same thing, except it was more in a goofy way. The second reason why I think this hoe is hilarious is Batman did all that preparation, breaks in, goes and makes this little scary speech, and then closes their form and grill, and that's it. So you're telling me you did all of that, spent all the money for that, the bombs and shit to explode and everything, all that shit, just to give a little scary speech, a little spooky speech, and then dip out. That's fucking hilarious. So y'all, tell me why I finished up the last part of this video, the whole segment or segments where I was just saying some funny shit, but... I found out when I came in here to record, you know, I went on my computer, it's just my recording's not there. The last part of my recording is just not there. I don't know what happened. It's just not there. I, I could have swear to God I pressed record, named it and everything, but it's just not fucking there. So we are going to do a speed round. Basically, I'm just going to fast forward through the movie and tell you everything that happened. Unfortunately, I won't be able to say all the jokes. I'm weeping inside, but... Fuck it, let's just get through it. Jim starts investigating Batman with his new partner, uh, Detective Essen. Eventually, over time, they start fucking. Jim's boss threaten threatens to blackmail him and show these pictures of him and the girl messing around to his wife. Later on, Jim gets a call uh, when he's out with his wife. Something with Bruce Wayne, so he goes there, he inst investigates into Bruce Wayne, like interviews and whatever. So then they leave, and then outside the gates, he tells his wife that, hey, Bonnie, I cheated on you. Honey, there's something I need to tell you. My wee wee goes boing, boing. This guy orders this guy to go and kidnap Jim's kids so that, you know, they can coerce him to play ball. Jim then claps back with a couple shots and then follows after the car. Bruce Wayne randomly shows up. Uh, yes, you heard me right. Bruce Wayne, not Batman. So he shows up, tells Jim's wife like, yo, I got this. And then he goes, follows after everybody. 
Jim and this guy are basically having this knife standoff and it pretty much reminds me of a scene from John Wick. The guy's holding his, uh, Jim's baby and eventually they all fall over. Bruce drops down from heaven or somewhere and miraculously grabs Jim's baby just in time to save him. Somehow they all survive the fall and Jim tells Bruce basically, ah, get out of here and I won't say shit. And then the movie ends with him on the rooftop waiting for Batman. So that wraps up the movie. So I'm just gonna pretty much end this video with just giving my general thoughts about the movie as a whole. Honestly, I thought the movie was pretty, I thought the movie was okay. Um, it had its moments where it was pretty dope, but all in all, it, it wasn't trash. It just wasn't, it wasn't for me, bro. Like the story was weird. The character, some of the characters like Selena, like her whole motivations on why she wanted to be noticed in the movie. I didn't decide to mention it in the speed round because I thought it was just dumb, but there, there's just a lot of things in this, in this movie that I wasn't really fucking with as far as like the characters, but the visuals are dope. That's about all I can say about it. Uh, to be honest, I, I guess I have to read the comics and maybe it's just, or comic, not comics. Uh, maybe it's just 20 times better, but for as it stands right now, the movie version, I, I'm just not fucking with it. Well, y'all, that's the end of the video. I really did hope y'all enjoyed. Um, I'm trying to do something new on my channel, like trying to take it in somewhat a different direction. Uh, I just really hope y'all y'all mess with it because uh, I'm definitely passionate about it. Um, so if y'all can support by sharing these videos, liking them, disliking them, leaving me a comment, I appreciate the hell out of it. Um, links in the description, my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Twitter. I don't know if I got anything else. Uh, I'm going to be streaming on here more that just to let y'all know, probably, uh, I don't know the consistency just yet, but I'll, I'll definitely let y'all know when, uh, when I do find that out. I just want to say if you stuck around, Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, go ahead and sit, hit that subscribe button, you know, join the family and join the crew and hit that bell notification. So, you know, when all these fire videos come out to so y'all beautiful people and trust me, they're coming out. I ain't got nothing else to say, man. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. As you know, Swabby the God. Bless y'all with another video. I said, like, bless y'all with another video. Hope y'all have a great day. And I love you. Peace.